guys, this is Adula Experience YouTube channel, an interdenominational channel with life changing word of God. We believe the video you're about to watch will transform your life. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell to get you notified when we post new videos. Thank you. Any time my spirit is going down, there's a 14 days prescription I have. I pray every one hour in every three hours. Six to seven, nine to ten, twelve to one, three to four, six to seven. I maintain that schedule for 14 days and I read the New Testament. By 12 o'clock, he has eaten three times. He just took him to me at home. He gets to work, he takes tea. Before you know what is happening, there's light refreshment. Hey, they, this is how they'll be doing their hands. They'll be putting food in their mouth stylishly. Are you a gluten? Will you eat your destiny? Twelve o'clock, you've eaten three times, and you want to fulfill destiny. You want to affect your generation. You. How many serious people will commit themselves to you? You think. I want, I'm walking with you. I walk into your office by 10, you are eating. I come another time, you are eating. You will still see me there. You are not going anywhere. Go and look for a food contest. That's where your destiny is. Ask those who walk around me, they know. And those I travel to minister for, they know. Sometimes I go to a place to preach. I eat only twice in four days. Did I come here to feast? When I went to Pakistan, I was there for seven days. I ate less than six times. The guy looked at me and said, what do you eat? Is the food not good? I said, don't worry. This stomach is locked. I came to the Middle East. I come to an Asian continent to contend with the forces of Islam. And then I will say, wow, what kind of food is this? Wow, this is a good meal. How do you pre prepare it? Am I a chef? <laughs> Fasting triggers revival. If you are not fasting, your spiritual life will be up and down, up and down, up and down. Find a man who is constantly on fire. He has won the battle over food. He has conquered his appetite. Nothing kills the move of the spirit in a man's soul like his, his, his subscription to his appetite. You want to stay on fire for God, you must rule over your appetite. If you have not mastered your appetite, you cannot keep the fire of God. Every time there's a revival, men turn to God through fasting. Daniel 9 verse 3, Joel 2 verse 12. It's not possible to have revival without fasting. When God breaks upon the people, find out they've humbled themselves through fasting. And so instead of pursuing people and say, give me your fire, go and excavate yours on the altar of fasting. Because anything given to you can be taken. But anything you discover is yours forever. Nobody can take it away from you. I'm not on fire just because hands were laid on me. I have given myself to certain things. Pastor Victor knows. Anytime my spirit is going down, there's a 14 days prescription I have. I pray every one hour in every three hours. Six to seven, nine to ten, twelve to one, three to four, six to seven. I maintain that schedule for 14 days and I read the New Testament with fasting and prayer. If I do that, oh my God, no matter how bad my battery is, it comes alive. Because one of the ways of setting yourself on fire is to engage consistently the altar of fasting. If you fast long enough, you will notice even the world will become noisy to you. Fast for seven days and come out of your house and find out if you want to go to the studio to watch football. Even the football will become noisy. Sometimes you fast until even the atmosphere, you can censor it. The air is passing. You can pick every air that touches your body. Your sensitivity is that strong. There's a time I fast. If I exceed 21 days, even if I'm lying down sleeping, if somebody's at the door, I can wake up and tell you, Nathaniel is at the door. You can really read everything happening around you. You become like a raider. How can the devil take you unawares? If you are that revived, if you are that sensitive, it's impossible. 
before anything happens, you are rested in the heavenlies. You bind it there. It doesn't come to the earth realm. Christians are lukewarm because they've given themselves to everything that their appetites deserve or desire. That's why they cannot see the weight and the power of their destiny. We believe you are blessed by the video you just watched. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Thank you.